So what's happening, baby? We're watching the election results, but it's so early that nothing has been um, clip, you know, presented to win yet or pro projected to win yet. So we're just hanging out with our pets. Tiki, Rupi, Junie. Zara, 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. Oh, wow. <laughs> Some stuff starting. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, today is Tuesday, the 5th of November, 7 p.m. The election results are starting to come in. I'm making our dessert, which I actually have not. I don't think, Bay. I don't think I've put this on the vlog since we started making it. It's crazy. So this dessert that we make, it's usually just pecans, but we really like walnuts right now. I'm gonna end up adding butter to it. So this is a pasture-raised salted butter. Then we do sunflower butter, which, oh my gosh, we're kind of out of it. Kara powder. So essentially it's like this like chocolatey, buttery nut thing. And then on top of it, we add ice cream for bears. Ice cream. So you've definitely seen this ice cream if you watch our vlogs. But the ingredients are milk, cream, raw honey, skim milk, egg yolk, natural flavors. So that's that. Let me step out of the kitchen because I swear every single time I vlog, I'm in the kitchen. So I'm gonna sit beside George on the couch and talk to you. So I just said to George, I have the feeling of when I was a little kid and you're watching TV, waiting for your county to say that you're off of school for a snow day. Oh. So I'm actually from North Carolina and I don't know if you guys all like this is definitely not an every state thing with the snow but like here in North Carolina if it would like threaten to snow we would be called off of school <laughs> and so you sit in front of the TV and you're like so excited to like find out if you're off from school and so that's how I feel right now waiting on the election results. <laughs> So we're just like watching different people live stream on YouTube. If it's close, we'll find out. We'll won't find out tonight. Maybe within the next few days or week or so. But if it's a landslide, we should find out by eleven or so or so tonight. We should get an answer. But who knows right now? It's the none of the polls are really accurate, so we can't really figure out who's leading or who's not. Oof. What a time to be alive. Let me step out of the kitchen because I swear every single time. Do you ever just have one of those days where it takes you like a hot minute to get ready? Like I'm typically one of those girls where it's like five minutes in, five minutes out, like I'm good to go. Today was like, it took me longer and I'm just like, you just like look at yourself and you're like, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's like, I had to change my, I'm wearing this skirt, but I was wearing pants and I had to change the pants, but then I thought it was the top. And I was like, well, put some jewelry on, that'll help. And then like, I'll do my makeup. And I don't know if you guys have heard of like that low contrast, high contrast on TikTok about makeup. I'm low contrast and I put eyeliner on and I was like, no, that's too high. And I start wiping it. It was just, uh, I was just having one of those days and then I kept having to redo my hair and I almost put it into a ponytail and that would have been a mistake. It's just, uh, just one of those days and that happens sometimes. So my husband's outside taking the dog out. We're actually about to head down to a cafe to just like work on our computers and our dog has some tricks that I mentioned. I'm just putting the windows down. In last week's vlog, and I, he really wanted to show you them. 
So we'll show you that. For our puppy tricks. It's time for puppy tricks. I'm so excited, I'll take any cookie. <laughs> I think we're gonna go with this one. That's a good size. A little too much food, but... A little hard, huh? Too many things in there, so... Cool. Take a little out. Had a couple of chores. Chores to do. Meanwhile, I have some lentil soup my mom made. I have a clean sour cream. And... I thought I'd show my face while I describe all of this. In the Instant Pot, I put a bunch of vegetables. So I did cabbage, carrots, red onion. And then I put, I mean, they were like probably eight chicken thighs in there. So this can be used for multiple meals. So I'm basically gonna put some of this chicken into the lentil soup with a dollop of sour cream, and that's gonna be our dinner. And then we're gonna have dessert, which is these beautiful white chocolate chip cookies that he made. That's good. I honestly think that we're exceptionally skilled at making cookies. Yeah, cause look at how good my cookies are. They about, what, an eighth of an inch thick? <laughs> Listen, when you said you wanted paper thin cookies, I said, I said, say no more. I'll do it for you. And we still have more dough, but we're not going to edit the dough or fix the dough. He's just going to plop a whole single cookie. I think what happened was I might have put a little too much coconut oil and a little too much butter. And maybe not enough flour. Oh, no, it was the macadamia nut butter. I think that's what it was because with all the oil. So this is our next cooking right here. <laughs> hello, hello. It's Sunday, November 10th. And the last time you saw us, we had made those cookies. And then we made another batch of cookies because we're obsessed. And we actually had pizza yesterday. <laughs> I'm a cameraman, so I was a little... She's a little caught off guard. I'm trying to show Wolf. Oh, <laughs> like why am I so close? Um, so we eat in moderation, right? And a lot of you who follow me about eczema know this. Like I really like a 70-30 rule where we literally eat in. Right now it's probably 80% of the time. And then at home, like we'll make healthier cookies. Like the cookies that we make are definitely way healthier than most. Like we use coconut sugar. We're not using real sugar and stuff like that. And obviously as you're seeing in these vlogs, like we make a lot of cookies, but the majority of what we're eating is healthy. So we're actually going hiking today. 
<clears throat> we're going to Hanging Rock State Park, which is in the northern area of North Carolina where they did not get hit by the hurricane. So if you saw us try to hike that one time, <laughs> we're going to a completely different area. So there are hikes available. We have Wolf with us. Over there. Yeah, he's out the window. He's basically out the window. Even though the window is closed, he's still basically out of the window. Yeah. And we have packed, I make oatmeal in the Instant Pot every single week. And in this, <laughs> uh, so let me tell you my Instant Pot recipe. So I, so he bought like bulk oats. I don't even know how many pounds of oats you bought. <laughs> But he had bought this giant bag of oats, but they're really tough. Like, I don't know what's up with the, the oat itself, but like, you can't really microwave these and get what you want. So I have to instant pot pressure cook these. And so I do, I put a little bit of coconut oil. I put the oats because coconut oil actually helps create resistant starch. So if you're going to eat starches like oats or rice, you can cook them with coconut oil to make them more resistant. And then you're feeding your good bacteria versus the bad bacteria. I put chia seeds in here. I put flax seeds in here. I put apples. Walnuts. Did I cook walnuts? Oh, I know in this jar I have, I have walnuts, blueberries, milk, and oh. the oatmeal. Huh? <laughs> What'd you say? I put salt and honey as well when I like use the Instant Pot. And that's basically how I make these. And different weeks I do different recipes. Like sometimes it's a blueberry base oatmeal. This week it's apple because apples are in season. They're also low histamine. So we had bought a bunch of apples. And then, we tweaked the recipe where George had accidentally made flat cookies and we tweaked that recipe and so now we packed some cookies with us today and the only thing that was wrong with the previous recipe is we my recipe calls for like a like a nut butter and like whether it's a sunflower butter or a peanut butter peanuts are really not eczema friendly by the way you put that in and so it's like ghee, coconut oil, or like butter and coconut oil, and then like a nut butter. And we had bought macadamia nut butter and it was just so liquid. So instead of it being like, we use almond flour inside these cookies. So instead of the nut butter being like a cross between flour and like butter, it was basically just like another fat. So those why his were like that no fault of his own at all. <laughs> so we'll show you if we remember some clips of us hiking with Wolf today and I'll take some pictures of the views. And I think this is the first time that we're hiking together, which is really fun. And this is Wolf's first hike as well. So.
wish you guys could be on this hike with us because it's just so like lush and beautiful and there's rocks everywhere oh and it's like it's kind of chilly i think it's 14 i think it's 14 degrees celsius out here and it's just crisp and like the higher up on this mountain you go it's getting like windy a little bit colder but it's like it's refreshing and it's just beautiful accomplishment and like like you just hiked so it's so physical you just feel so good when you reach the top of this and it's like you look out there and you're like oh my god that's amazing oh it's a good feeling now we're gonna hike down and we're like fantasizing about food to eat I want Vietnamese pho soup or like a beef stew something like that oh boy bubby well, I did it. Huh? Thank you. I'm up here in the observation tower, despite having some fear of heights. There's these maps up here that George was saying you can kind of see like where different things are. So like I'm facing west. Oh yeah, it says west. And then go south. Charlotte's way out there. Winston-Salem's out there. And then if we look east, there's Greensboro. Jordan Wolfie are down there. North is Virginia. Oh man, what a good day. Yeah. <laughs> 